för länge sedan När jag fyllde fyra år Fick jag en gåva av min far En fin present När jag fyllde fyra år Som jag sen så länge hade kvar Teddy Björnen Fredriksson Ja, så hette han En gång var han bara min Och vi älskade varann Teddy Björnen Fredriksson Hans nos den var av gav Ja, han var min bästa vän När jag var ett litet barn Och varje kväll var han så god och mjuk Då värmde han min säng så varm Han var så snäll En gång när jag blev sjuk Så fick jag sova på hans arm Teddy Björnen Fredriksson Ja, så hette han En gång var han bara min och vi älskade varann Teddy Björnen Fredriksson Hans nos den var av garn Ja han var min bästa vän När jag var ett litet barn Men åren gick Jag glömde bort min vän Och jag blev gift och fick ett barn och så igår, när hon fyllde fyra år, fick hon en teddybjörn av sin far. Teddybjörnen Fredriksson, ja så hette han. En gång var han bara min och vi älskade varann. Teddybjörnen Fredriksson, hans nos den är av gal. Ja, han var min bästa vän när jag var ett litet barn. Teddy Björnen Fredriksson, ja, så hette han. En gång var han bara min och vi älskade varann. Teddy Björnen Fredriksson, hans nos den är av gal. Ja, han var min bästa vän när jag var ett litet barn. Teddy Björnen Fredriksson. Germany, 1974. An order is placed for allocation to Sweden. This beautiful 1974 BMW 3.0 CSI E9 Coupe is being built and imme immediately shipped to Malmo, Sweden. Fast forward two years later, September 1976, I come to this world <laughs> in Tehran, Iran. Some years later, I land in the beautiful city of Malmo, Sweden as refugees from Iran with my family and I had no idea that all those years of <clears throat> living and growing up in Malmo, Sweden that this incredible beautiful car 1974 uh, 3.0 CSI coupe was also co-existing with me in Malmo, my beloved Malmo, Sweden for all those years. No idea whose car it was, no idea what it was, where it was I was a kid growing up, however, my love for cars was always there, and never died. And who knew one day, many, many, many years later, uh, I'd say about close to 35, 36 years later, the two of us <laughs> would be standing, immigrating to uh, the beautiful country of the United States, the state of California, and this beautiful city of Woodland Hills where we both are standing and being presented to you as car enthusiast, presenter, and beauty of the day. 
Uh, she was. Uh, she has had a remarkable life of 48 years. Been around, well loved, well kept, restored by its previous owner, my current uh, friend, client, and partner in this car. Uh, had it in, <clears throat> has had it for about a year or so. He uh, made an attempt earlier on uh, to um, sell it through Sweden to the United States on bring trailer. However. As I have learned in the past uh, couple of years or so, uh, it is not favorable or easy to be uh, selling cars to the United States buyers if the car is abroad. And uh, it is a difficult thing to do to buy, import, wait all those months, do all the paperwork, pay all the expenses and bring a car overseas. A lot of uncertainties you haven't seen the car you don't know what it is what's going on but I uh, spoke with my partners in Europe six months ago I landed in, in, in northern uh, Europe made uh, all the sense and the deals that we need to do explain to them how the process is they all understand they know the way it is we import the cars to the country I register them I uh, make them US 50 states legal depending on age or uh, where they are at some some cars do some cars don't depending on California smog and what have you this one being 74 years old is uh, I would believe uh, from 1974 it should be I'm not sure exactly about the exempt if it's 1970 or 71 72 73 uh, but we have registered it in our company in the state of Montana as far as the restoration goes, it was a number of years ago. It is well restored. Obviously, it's now slowly uh, coming of age again, and it's. Uh, I'll be doing a little bit of a quick walk around. Overall, it's restored with the original engine, and it's restored to original spec as it was. There are no modifications in the car. Uh, sometimes they do the most popular modifications where they take the old engine out and put the later model BMW engines such as the M B535 engine and, and what have you for more power and new exhaust and whatnot some of the great guys such as the 8 coupe and uh, La Jolla Independent do those things but this was done in Sweden to original spec Polaris silver metallic as I walk around everything seems to be in uh, good shape, good, o good order. I've done a bit of a chrome deep pitting and, and the chrome rejuvenation on the car. Made it as fresh as I possibly could. There's a minor little paint uh, blemish and uh, I'd say probably bubbling here. I'm not sure what it is exactly. I'll have a close-up photo of it. Uh, the chrome has some minor scratches here and there, but I did a uh, never dull refinishing. On all the chrome walking around some of the areas of the chrome have some naturally it's of age the chrome is uh, beginning to show its age somewhat but as I walk around the car I'd say 99.8 percent still in incredible intact uh, condition HOW 720 that's a Swedish uh, license and it is the actual license that goes license place that goes with the car as I walk around the only really thing that comes uh, visible is some of the wear and tear on the chrome around the car like over here there's some over here there's a little bit of a uh, scratching on it the glass is in good condition tires are 14 inch the the wheels are uh, the turbo style 14 inch Michelin tires the fitting of the doors and all that is well done again pretty much the only minor flaw that I see on the car is some scratches on the on the chromes if you would like to come a little closer with me Dave please uh, walking around tires are in great condition I'll uh, open up the hood so we can uh, see the fittings on the doors. Here we 
we are. When the car arrived from the ship, due to the massive climate change going from Sweden in the northern hemisphere to uh, California, I needed to do a little bit of adjustment to the engine, the air intake, the fuel intake and all that to make sure it was uh, up to uh, California climate. Um, we have all the fin plates. Um, it is really well and nicely restored. I'll start it for you in a second. Here it says uh, Auslackerung BMW Polaris. Uh, chassis number 4340304. Uh, I'll start the car up for you guys. It's kind of cold today, so it's uh, running a little bit higher, but we drove it over here, it did fine. It goes through the gears, I'll demonstrate that for you in the car as we drive. And uh, we'll be doing some uh, drone shots, driving shots for you today. Overall, uh, it's a Euro 1974 BMW 3.0 CSI, original delivery to Malmo, Sweden, and now registered legally here in the United States of uh, America. My name is Alec Cartio. Uh, feel free to reach out to me with any questions about this beautiful car. Uh, you can see it with me here in Woodland Hills, California during the auction and I'm looking forward to sending this to a uh, beautiful new home. Again, I'm pretty nostalgic because of the fact that this car was meant for Malmö, Sweden. I was living in Malmö, Sweden for all those years and now the two of us Two of us are here in the United States in Woodland Hills, California. It kind of feels really cool. When you step in there, that smell of uh, Northern Hemisphere uh, from the leather and all the 70s type of leather is still there. I feel it. It feels pretty nostalgic. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys on the next auction.
shifts very nicely and smoothly. Very, very nicely.